Um, I felt like coming out of the break and coming off a loss, we probably played about as well as we could considering the situation for 37 minutes. I thought we dominated the game in all aspects for, you know, after that first media timeout. Um, these games can go either way. You know, we've all seen the teams come out and kind of sleepwalk and it stays close and then you got to get on your team and then, you, you know, end up winning it. I thought they came out pretty focused and, and um, ready to go. I don't, I don't mind playing a team like this coming out of uh, finals because there's a lot of distraction in finals. Also, coming off a loss, it gave us a chance for three days to really work on ourselves, which we needed to do. And I thought uh, they carried that over to the game. Uh, we really been on our team about getting in the gap, stripping and ripping off drives, um, creating a bunch of turnovers today and steals. You know, now we got to carry it over to a, a, a better opponent. But I thought for the most part, our guys um, did a really good job today. You had 20 steals. Are you looking forward to going back and looking at the film, seeing how many tips that you had in addition to those? That yeah, seemed like you had at least we, had, we had 30 deflections at halftime. We, we charted that. Okay. And so, um, yeah, I don't know what we had in the second half. Probably not as many. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I think that's, what, that's who we want to be defensively is active and disruptive. I think offensively we're pretty good. I mean, I, I think we've been pretty good all year long, just a couple of rough spots here and there. But we got a lot of guys that can really shoot the basket right. And so uh, we just got to continue to do better defensively. We got to take care of the basketball. It's nine turnovers today, not bad, but okay. And then offensive rebounds, you know. They had 13 offensive rebounds. You know, I, I like to not see them be that high. Did you, uh, after this week of practice, did you fix the things you wanted to fix following the North Dakota State team? I mean, I felt like we, we did. Um, and we're going to have to continue on that path. And I take the blame. Um, a lot of times when you play six games in two weeks, you become very scout-based in your preparation. And you don't practice fundamentals. Uh, you get so to where you haven't played so many games and you're trying to worry about your opponent. We went back to the basics uh, this week, and I thought that really carried over to today's game. Now, we have to continue to do that in practice, and then we have to do it against better opponents. Okay, no disrespect to a million people, but they're not LSU and they're not, you know, the teams that we're about to play in our league. And so I like where we were at today where compared to where we were at last Saturday at North Dakota State as far as the things that really hurt us in that game. You brought it up. Let's, uh, let's look towards Wednesday. Big game. Uh, this, like you said, no disrespect to Milligan, but this pretty much a tune-up. Wednesday's night game against uh, yeah. LSU, another uh, another big game for your team. Well, it's a, it's a great opportunity. You know, um, they started the season in the top 25. They're not in it right now, but they're probably really close. In fact, I'm one of the voters, so maybe I'll vote for them this week. Um, but um, I, I think they're really good. They're, I haven't really watched them a lot yet, but they're talented. I saw them play BCU at BCU. They're long and athletic. One of my uh, former you know, guys, I was coaching, I worked with the Wichita State, Greg Hires on the staff at the LSU, so he's got to know what we do. Um, but, you know, they, you know, Will Wade was with Shaka at BC, they started this havoc thing, um, you know, so they're going to play fast, and they're going to play hard, and they're going to trap us, we, we can't turn the ball over and have like, you know, atomic bomb turnovers and leave the baskets, but it's a great opportunity for us, you know, it's the second, you know, Kansas was a top five program, you know, I think these guys are top 25, so it's a good time for us to play. You know, it's time you know, for us to win one of these again. You know, beat Georgia Tech, beat Mississippi State. It's time to go win another one.